Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. Now we are going to discuss experiment 1, rate of reaction for chemistry SK025. Let's have a look on the objective of the experiment which is to study the effect of concentration, temperature and catalyst on the rate of reaction. For this experiment, you need to fill in table 1.1 in the lab manual as given in the lab manual so there are two columns that you have to complete which is the molarity of concentrated of uh, sodium thiosulfate and also one over T take out your calculator and let us do some calculation on the dilution process we are going to use the formula M1B1 equal to M2B2 whereby B1 is the volume of concentrated sodium thiosulfate. M1 is the concentration of concentrated sodium thiosulfate. V1 is the volume of concentrated sodium thiosulfate plus volume of distilled water. M2 is the concentration of diluted sodium thiosulfate. For 40 ml of concentrated sodium thiosulfate, V1, we substitute into the formula M1V1 equal to M2V2. M1 is always 0 0.15. V1 is 40 ml. M2 is the value that we need to find out and V2 is 50 ml. So we will get M2 equal to 0 0.12 molar. These are the essential elements of a good graph. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. And number five. Molarity of sodium thiosulfate will be the x-axis for the graph and 1 over t is the y axis. Plotting the graph of 1 over t versus sodium thiosulfate. There are 5 points here so make sure you plot every point at accurate position. Then draw the best fit line for the graph which intersect zero. From the graph we can say that since one over T is directly proportional to the concentration of sodium thiosulfate, therefore rate of reaction is also proportional to concentration of sodium thiosulfate. Part B, the effect of temperature and catalyst on the reaction rate. You fill in table 1.2 as given in the lab manual. Then, you plot a graph 1 over T versus temperature in degree Celsius. The first line is the line without catalyst. The second line will be the line with catalyst. Make sure you label both of the lines. Then, deduce the relationship between rate 1 over T with temperature. 
1 over T is directly proportional to the temperature. Also, compare the line of the reaction with catalyst and without catalyst, whether the line is steeper with higher gradient for the reaction with catalyst or without catalyst. Lastly, discuss how catalysts affect the rate of reaction. For discussion, you write the equation for the reaction of sodium thiosulfate with hydrochloric acid for part A and for part B, the reaction of oxalate ion with permanganate ion in acidic medium. Discussion. State the sources of errors. For the experiment, you have to discuss at least two sources of errors. Okay, the errors might come from when measuring the time, maybe the faulty of the stopwatch or you are not ready to record the time. Inconsistent stirring or when measuring the temperature or the errors that you did not observe the X mark from the top of the flask. Conclusion don't forget to write a conclusion that is related to the objective of this experiment, which is to study the effect of concentration, temperature and catalyst on the rate of reaction. That's all for experiment 1. Hope to see you again in the next experiment. Thank you and Assalamualaikum.